Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura. I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It is a rainy Sunday and it's been, uh, I actually managed to work out this morning, which I'm super proud of myself for. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. I just went and picked up my prescription. Tomorrow is chemo round eight. Um, and I have lots to update the vlog on about chemo round eight, even since my last vlog. Uh, I haven't been doing too well. I've had some really bad neuropathy uh, issues um, with like losing complete movement of my hands and I've got burning mouth syndrome with like ulcers in my mouth. I did have it throughout last week, but usually in a chemo week, and I didn't talk about it much in the vlog, I don't like to repeat myself too many times because I figure if I say it once, you guys get the gist, but uh, this whole week has been like challenging and the mouth sores and the neuropathy have just been at their worst. Um, so I'm gonna update on, on what's gonna happen there, but um, yeah, it, it's changing because things are being really challenging. I'm, I'm actually just making some dinner, so I'll show you what I'm making. Making a veggie fried rice. So I've got some diced cauliflower in here. There's a bit of a mix in here, so I didn't cut this all up myself. Some of it came from a bag. So we've got a uh, carrot, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, I've got some bell pepper in there as well and then we've just got some lettuce here, some veggie mints in this container, doing this with one hand that we cooked earlier with corn so we'll just heat that up and I've got some uh, broccoli that I'm going to toss in shortly, some more broccoli um, and I've got some sweet potato that I made in the air fryer earlier because I've got an air fryer. Cherry tomatoes, that's Ty's capsicum for his bowl. He didn't want his cooked. And then this is the air fryer. Ty's cooking some potato. I've got sweet potato. Ty doesn't like sweet potato. So the update about my dosage. I last left off in my last vlog saying that uh, my oncologist encouraged me to reduce down to half dose, so 50% decrease. Uh, based upon the symptoms and the side effects, I had told her they actually wanted to discontinue it, but I was just super anxious about changing my dose. Uh, but my neuropathy has been so bad in my hands, my feet, my legs, my tongue. My tongue is the worst. It is constantly tingling and I have burning mouth syndrome in my mouth. It kind of feels like when you have had like, there's a mixture of like when you've had a really sour lolly or when you've burnt your tongue on like a really hot drink, it's like that feeling constantly and it's really hot inside my mouth. My sores are just not healing. Um, well, the ones that are healing, they start to go away and the new ones are popping up and it makes it impossible to chew. And yesterday I was in a cafe um, in Bellingham and I went to the bathroom and I ran the tap to wash my hands and I always have to run it for a while for it to run hot. I can't use hand sanitizers because the alcohol is too cooling. So wait for the uh, it to go hot. I thought it had put my hands fully under the tap and it was freezing cold and my fingers just completely seized up. And I just freaked out. I started crying. I couldn't extend my fingers. We had to go out into the car, get my hand warmers and like warm it up on my heated leather seat in the car. And it's just like took about five minutes for me to gain the dexterity back and actually like uncurl my fingers. It just really freaked me out. And I, I was thinking, okay, no, that was the right decision to reduce down to 50% because the, these things can become permanent, which is really scary. And that's what the oncologist was warning me about. Uh, then it happened today, not as bad as yesterday, but it happened again today. And so I freaked out. I just called the um, on-call nurse at BC Cancer and I was just like, I think that I agree and that I want to discontinue the oxyplatin, which is huge. And so obviously my doctor isn't working today. It's a Sunday. Um, so she said she's been, um, the on-call physician called me and said she's been responding to emails this weekend and that she'll give me a call in the morning and we can talk about it. But I'm finally kind of coming round to the idea of getting rid of it. Uh, if my anxieties around it is obviously I just, you know, want to give myself the best treatment and, you know, the best chance possible to beat this thing. But like I said in my last vlog, the added benefits of continuing past uh, the six rounds is only like two to three percent and my body's just going through hell and I don't want to get those permanent side effects. Like right now, eating my dinner is just like, it's impossible. Like, it's just so so challenging and so I feel I feel okay about it I feel I guess overall good the positives for me outweigh my anxieties and my fears and so 
that's the plan and I'm, I'm going to hear back, back about that in the morning. Good morning. It is Monday and it's chemo day. I haven't heard back about what's happening with my dose, but uh, I will just find out when I'm in clinic. I'm just making some Kodiak cakes for breakfast. These look delicious. I'm just deciding whether I had them with banana and maple syrup or I had them with just kind of like jam, berry compote. Unsure. I think I'm just gonna go with the jam route. I've been meaning to try this rhubarb and vanilla. So I'll use some like vegan butter. My hands are shaking, neuropathy. Can't really grasp things very well. So probably should hold it in the palm of my hand like this. So I just finished at the clinic, I'm connected to the bottle, um, so it was confirmed I didn't have the oxaliplatin, my oncologist was really happy with my decision, as like I mentioned before, that's what they were guiding me towards because they were concerned about the permanent effects of the neuropathy, so I feel good about that and I can already like feel the difference usually when I come out of treatment, I am super sensitive when we walk to the car, like my hands, my feet, I usually would have like the mask and the beanie all the way down so I did already feel that difference and hopefully just every day gets that little bit better like it does during non-chemo week um so I'm feeling pretty good about that I'm feeling a little bit like drowsy I still had to receive an infusion in clinic and that infusion is usually um like uh, mixed with the oxaliplatin and so it is just to help the uh, fluorocell the um the chemo that i'm connected to now to be more effective so that is all of that the update on all of that um we're going to just really quickly pop into the supermarket to pick up just a bit of fresh produce we are honestly packed when it comes to the veggie proteins and carbs and all that kind of stuff but we don't have any fresh produce so I'm gonna get some cauliflower for the air fryer I'm really fancying it and some other bits and pieces so I'm super hungry I'm gonna air fry these veggies I've just put some chipotle and lime seasoning and some onion and garlic powder and then a little bit of hoisin, mix them all in together and air fry it. And I don't know what setting I'm gonna put it on, but hopefully they go all crunchy. These look so delicious. I'm going to kind of just turn it into a nourish bowl and add some avocado, some cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and then just some balsamic glaze. So it is many hours later. I just had like a 45 to an hour minute nap because I was feeling pretty exhausted. Just made myself a spicy chai tea latte from the Trader Joe's uh, mix that I bought in the weekend and this is probably like my third cup of this since Sunday and I'm a I'm a fan on a scale of like one to obsessed I I'm not obsessed with it I've had, I have had better but I'd probably give it a like I'm really in, into it I'm digging it it does have non-dairy creamer in it but I believe it has milk powder in it so this isn't a vegan chai latte even though I've added like oat milk in the actual mix it does have some uh, dairy milk so uh, the milk powder doesn't seem to affect my tummy as much so it's just a little amount for me but it's just so nice and comforting and just some Gibby content for you Gibby the people love you not as much as I love you oh this little smush. This candle lighter is like a blow torch. Oh, we left one out. So this is dinner. I have some spring salad mix on the bottom that I have massaged balsamic vinegar and the uh, vegan Caesar dressing from Trader Joe's. And then we've just got some brown rice, some uh, capsicum, uh, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and then we've got some uh, veggie chicken tenders. It looks delish. So since coming back from chemo, I've been cooped up in the house all day. So Ty said, get in the car, we're going to Whole Foods and we're gonna go get some dessert. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I'm either gonna get the vegan chocolate mousse or 
for the like vegan chocolate cookie which is ironically called Laura's vegan cookie and you wouldn't believe how many of my clients snapchat me that there's that at Whole Foods I'm not sure if a girl called Laura created the recipe or what but either way just something chocolatey and comforting and then we're probably gonna watch um, like a crime docu-series or a crime like investigation I just want something that really grasps my attention sometimes you feel like you're in the mood to watch something mindless but like reality TV oh I finished Byron Bay smash through that um, but yeah I feel like something that I can really focus on and then hopefully that makes me sleepy the good Good morning and happy Tuesday, second day connected to the bottle. I slept okay. I struggled to get to sleep, but managed to sleep in on this end. I woke up at about eight, so that's pretty good. I've estimated I probably got about six hours, which is an improvement upon other nights. I'm feeling okay. I can definitely notice the reduction, not the reduction, the um, omitting the oxaliplatin. I already feel like much less sensitivity usually on like day one and day two like everything from like breathing in the room temperature air hurts my teeth so I've definitely noticed the difference there and I'm just excited that each day will get that little bit better my nausea is kind of like stable no vomiting or anything like that so we're doing okay we're doing okay Kodiak cakes again for breakfast because why not Kibi and I are just having some snuggles. I'm giving her pets. She's giving me pets. Hey. But I do have to be careful when I'm connected to chemo because she jumps up and she puts weight on my port. So she's not touching it right now, but oh, careful. She just likes to just do these big like flops. And so they are aggressively gentle. There we go. Big old flop. Hello. Hello. I just made some sweet potato fries and seasoned them uh, just for like a lighter lunch. I'm not really feeling like food, but I know that it helps with my nausea, so I'm just going to have these with some ketchup. So I've decided to make rice pepper rolls tonight. So they're going to have capsicum, cucumber, iceberg lettuce, avocado as the veggie. These are the rice pepper rolls themselves. I've got some like veggie chicken nuggety type things to have as the protein in there and then I'm just cooking up some vermicelli noodles and uh, yeah I'll pop them in there but I'll cool these down first before I wrap it all up. So here are my rice pepper rolls. The structural integrity of this one is not the best but they'll still be delicious. I'm not sure this is enough food for dinner for both Ty and I but we'll see how we go. Um, we can always just cook up some more veggies uh, but yeah just a little light starter and I was really fancying them. I actually just also had an accident with my bag and I'm not sure what's been happening with the adhesive on the side but it's just been coming away and causing me a lot of issues so I fixed that all up. I've changed my bag and hopefully it doesn't happen with this one. I cut the hole slightly larger so I'm still doing the cut to fit so hopefully that's okay but it was such a nightmare changing it with like my chemo bottle in the way and just like Feeling no I always feel nauseous when I change my bag anyway because it really grosses me out. So I've got quite bad nausea right now from the chemo. So it was not an ideal situation. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I had the worst sleep last night. I struggled to get to sleep and then I had waking insomnia as well. So I woke up quite a few times in the night and just was really struggling to get back to sleep. And I've mentioned before that I try not to get too frustrated, but last night did really get to me. I guess one person can only handle so many like bad nights of sleep. I can get a little bit irrational after the accumulative effect. So I did manage to, I woke up with Ty this morning at 10 past four because I was already stirring when he had to go to, when he got up for coaching. And I just decided, look, I'm gonna stay up. I'm gonna do the little bits of work that I have to do. I'm gonna have a decaf coffee. And I did manage to go back to sleep at about eight till about nine and just get an hour sleep. So it's just after nine. I'm gonna to go to the pharmacy. I'm gonna pick up some more Magnesicum. 
Uh, hopefully it's a better night's sleep tonight. I'm not gonna have a nap. I did have a nap yesterday. I'm wondering if that affected my sleep. So no nap today. We're going to the pharmacy and then I need to go to the like dollar store to get some bits and pieces for my fundraiser event this Saturday. I wanna get like some kazoos to cheer on the trainers. I need to get a whiteboard and just a couple of other bits and pieces. So gonna get myself organized. I should also mention that it is disconnection day. So I'm connected to my chemo right now. It's slowly draining, uh, not quite there yet, but Ty will come home from teaching around 1.30 p.m. this afternoon and I should be ready to go for then, which I cannot wait for a nice hot shower. really simple lunch. I air fried some broccoli, capsicum, zucchini, and cauliflower just in some spices. And then I, it's like steaming. It just came out. And then I've just cooked this burger patty, which is like black beans and corn. Uh, and it's really delicious. And I'm just probably going to put a little bit of dressing and yeah, maybe some sprouts if I can find some, but just something pretty low key. To be honest, I'm not really hungry, but I do have to put something in my belly. It really helps with the nausea. So it is many hours later. I've been disconnected from my chemo. I had a big shower. I did my skincare. I didn't wash my hair. I'll wash that later in the week. But I just put on some really light makeup, emphasis on the light. I just, on top of my skincare, put some bronzer, blusher, did some brows and lip gloss just to make me have a little bit more color in my face. I'm definitely feeling nauseous and experiencing these hot flushes. And I'm just staying on top of uh, my nausea meds and just trying to eat small frequent meals. Ty and I are going to have a little date night, so a nice early dinner. So we're just going to walk down the road probably for like, probably have dinner at like 6 p.m. And the sun's come out, which is so glorious. So I just think getting some fresh air and just going out for a bite because we've been eating at home every night will just be a nice change of scenery. Honestly, they say change is as good as a holiday. So we're just en route to dinner. The sun's come out, which is so nice. Just nice to get some vitamin D, get out of the house. We're thinking just kind of your classic like brown social house. Then we can kind of both get what we want. I can get like a tofu bowl. Ty can get a burger if he wants. And it's just kind of like, it doesn't disappoint. Maybe we'll, get, maybe we'll get some nachos to share. Can you tell we're hungry? We've like pre-planned, you know? Yeah. One of those situations where you already get there in we're, the restaurant. We're pretending we'll get there and be like, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, I really like, like the, I don't know. Like when really in it's reality, they already for... like ask us for drinks and we're like, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Cause we're just hungry. I wonder if well, like waiters and like waitresses actually like that, that we're ready and prepared to go yeah. or whether they- um, Or if it's overwhelming for yeah, them. Yeah, or whether they would rather a slow process. Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I'm hungry. I just got a superfood salad with some sweet potatoes, some avocado, there's like croutons in there and lots of delicious stuff. We're sharing some nachos, some veggie nachos, and Ty's got an impossible burger. I accidentally dropped a fry in your sauce, my bad. It's just ready to go. So we just got home and feeling pretty beat, like the lack of sleep's really catching up on me. Feeling a little bit nauseous, but having a meal just before really did help. Like eating small and frequently does really help me. We're just gonna have a low key night, got a couple of movie snacks and we're just gonna watch, um, not a movie, we're gonna watch a TV show. We've been watching The Imposters, which is actually filmed here in Vancouver. So it's super interesting to see the locations. I'm just really praying and got my fingers crossed for a really good night's sleep. That would just put me in the best mood. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here and I will start a new vlog tomorrow. I've got a um, couple of exciting things tomorrow and then I've got my fundraiser this weekend, which I'll try to film some of as well. But yeah, feeling okay. Happy that round eight is done. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. What a time to be alive.